What are the challenges you're trying to solve? Perhaps you want to change the food system, or make your business carbon neutral, or maybe you just want to figure out how your school or local council could be more inclusive. Whatever it is, incremental changes probably won't be enough. There's a tension between improving what's working today and the need for radical transformation. So how do we make radical change actually happen? This is where Three Horizons can help. In any conversations you have about changing the future, you'll probably notice three perspectives showing up. There's the voice of the manager who is responsible for the success of the current system and keeping things going as they are. The visionary who speaks for a radically different world and the entrepreneur who is impatient with all the talk and just wants to put new ideas into action right now. As you'd expect, these three voices are often talking past each other. They don't always realise that each is needed to create meaningful change. So we need a way to discuss the future that brings these three perspectives together in a constructive way. One that recognises the value of each and gives us shared language for working together. This is what Three Horizons is for. It's a simple framework to help guide conversations about the future towards meaningful action. Three Horizons is like a map. It helps us work out where we are, where we want to be, and how to get there. It may not provide all the answers, but like a map, it gives us a sense of direction. It starts with two lines on a page. Along the bottom, there's time, beginning in the present and heading into the future. The other axis shows which pattern or system is dominant at any one time. Horizon 1 is business as usual. It's the way we do things today. If we are having a Three Horizons conversation, it's because we see that the current system is showing signs of strain and is no longer fit for purpose. Let's use an example. Say we're thinking about how we produce our food. Today, we have a highly industrialised food and farming system. While this has increased crop yields and fed millions more people, many aspects of the current approach aren't working and are actively harmful to the soil, water and biodiversity on which we depend. Now let's jump to Horizon 3. This represents the visions that we hold and the visionary people who hold them. Some of the ideas here may seem unrealistic from the perspective of H1, but we know that fringe ideas can become mainstream as conditions change. So, in our food example, we can see many people pursuing a vision of a nature-positive approach to food production, one that provides enough food for everyone while nurturing soil health, restoring biodiversity and sustainably managing our ecosystems. In the middle is Horizon 2, this is the space of the entrepreneur, where we transition from our current H1 system to the new H3 system we want to create. This is a messy and turbulent space of innovation and disruption, where people are trying out new things, seeing what works and competing to be the future. Not all innovation will automatically help us bring about the new vision we want. Some will be used to sustain business as usual, offering a sticking plaster for problems rather than solving them, Others will carry us forward into H3, and perhaps a few will be ambiguous. With food and farming, new technology like drones can be used to reduce harm from excessive use of things like pesticides, herbicides and artificial fertilisers. From the perspective of H3, we call efforts like this H2 minus innovations, because even though they're improving current practices, it's also just extending the life of H1 and may even delay progress to H3. On the other hand, practices like agroforestry show how food production and nature can coexist with animals, trees, crops and soil each supporting the health and productivity of the others. We call these innovations that are growth points of our third horizon vision, H2+. This framework starts the conversation between the voices of the three horizons and helps us build a map on any topic of concern. So you can identify where you are, where you want to be, and most importantly, how to get there. As part of a Three Horizons discussion, you might draw it up big on a wall, adding post-its to the different horizons, or simply use it as a structure to guide your conversation. In H1 we ask, what are the signs that the pattern or system we have today are no longer fit for the future? And what are the values and practices helping to prop up that current system? In H3 we ask, what visions of the future are there? 
What values are we going to stand for? And how can we collaborate with others to make our vision a reality? And in H2, what innovations are already disrupting things and how can we help them grow? Which innovations do we need to make sure aren't just captured, H2 minus, and which ones will be growth points of the future system we want, H2 plus? There's now a growing network of policy makers, business leaders, researchers, philanthropists and community organisers who are all using Three Horizons to help them have better conversations about the future and get into action. If you want to jump in, visit futurestewards.com forward slash 3H where there are plenty of free resources for you to learn more and get started.